Cincinnati's funny. Every time I walk around downtown Cincinnati, every time I walk around downtown, it's, uh, Cincinnati's definitely uh, a city I am black famous in downtown. Because I tell you, every time I walk around downtown during the day, I don't ever stop any white people. Ever. Ever. I can stop at every black person, though. Fuck. Sometimes black people stop me even if they don't know my name. They just so they see me on something. Because I'll be walking, I'll see three brothers coming this way, and I can see the wheels fucking turning as I get closer. And they'll be like, oh, shit! Oh, that's no boy! That's no boy right there, that's no boy! And then a friend will come up, oh, that is him! That's him. He's from the arm. He's from the arm. Yup, yup, that's him. I have never, I've never been on a show called The Yep, by the way. And then sometimes if I look back, like black people look at me like I, I'm not supposed to look back at them. Don't look back here. You know you, you. <laughs> Motherfucker walk around the city like you, hey, you. Yeah, it's you, it's you. <laughs> he acting like he ain't him. I, li I tell you what, I like being black famous, so I do. I like it. Because I, I travel, I'm in a different city every week, and um, I love it like when I get to cities and I see, uh, uh, I see black people in customer service jobs. So if I'm at the airport, I like it when black people working at Delta or United. When I get to a hotel, I love it when black people are at the front desk. Because what I've learned through my travels is when black people know you and they like you, man, <laughs> black people will hook you up. <laughs> they <laughs> They don't give a fuck about the rules. <laughs> White people, we're not like that. We're just not. We want to help you, but we can't. Company policy. But we do. I can't. Cameras. I was thinking about all the free shit I've gotten in my life being black famous, right? I've gotten free clothes, free shoes, food, liquor, gotten into places I shouldn't be in, you know? See, I remember, it's, it's a true story, but it was about like, like five, five, six years ago, so I, I was going to the Bengals game, and I'm walking around trying to look for the gate I'm getting in, right? So I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden I'm looking up, and all of a sudden there's one black there was a security guard, I was like, hey, what's up, G? You in town, you got to show us something? I said, no, I'm just going to the game. He goes, you got tickets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I showed him the ticket. He said, come on, walk in. Motherfucker walked me in. 15 minutes later, we on the sidelines, pregame. I said, damn, this motherfucker got me on the field. <laughs> so so we, just, we sitting there bullshitting about life, and all of a sudden, he, he, he goes, gee, I'll be right back. I got to run do something. Just stay right here. You good? It's my area. I said, all right. I'm sitting there. Now I got no lanyard. I got no credentials. All of a sudden, a white security guard comes from here. Hey, where's your credentials? And now I didn't want to snitch on old boy. Well, I, don't, I don't have anything. He goes, how'd you get down here? I go, I just walk. <laughs> so, so, so now he's trying to kick me out of the stadium. Why did another black security guard come from the other side of the field? Gee, just come down here. Okay. I go, I hear that. I'm, I'm bullshitting with this dude. He's upset with a white dude. This motherfucker, man. Motherfucker been here five years. I've been here since Ken Anderson was here. Motherfucker, Ken Anderson. Been here 45 years. This motherfucker been here five years. He's trying to run shit. Gary, I got this. From the 30 to the end zone, that's my shit. This motherfucker got 10 yards. He's trying to run the whole goddamn field. <laughs> I'm just agreeing with him. He do seem like he do too much. He did, man. I know the <laughs> Even when we got in town, like, we, we flew in, we flew in, like, three days ago for the special to get, got in early. And I, we had a bunch of my boys are in town, so we went to Avis when we landed to get a rental car, and uh, we got to Avis. It was, uh, it was two white ladies and one black lady working at Avis. So we get in line, and literally, I waited for the black lady's counter to open up at Avis, you know? <laughs> like, it was my turn to go. The white lady goes, next. I go, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm like, go ahead. I'm going to wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. As soon as that black lady's counter opened up, I was walking up like, come on, please recognize me. Please recognize me. <laughs> So I got there, she knew where I was. She goes, oh, hey, Gary. What you doing in town? You back home for a couple days? Yeah, no, I got a show. I'm filming my Showtime special out here. Oh, okay, okay. I might have to check that out. Okay. Well, let me see. We got you in real quick. <laughs> what 
the fuck economy? Mm-mm. I can't have you ride around my city in that bullshit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she starts typing. All I know, we got to escalate for $34 right now. So. Thank you, Black Lady of Avis. <laughs> Hell yes, yeah, she got free tickets. She's in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You take care of me, I take care of you. Trust. But it was funny because I didn't know what she was typing. She was typing away, and then she hit me with the keys. That's when I looked at the new contract. And that's when I saw Escalade, four days, $34. Not a day. Total, $34. It's like $8.75 a day. So when I saw that, I grabbed my road manager. I said, yo, man, leave her tickets. Any show she wants to go to, leave her tickets. Just let her go. Come on. So he's like, all right. So he, now when she realized I was going to leave her tickets to the show, now she want to do more shit for me. As if the $34 wasn't enough. So now I'm walking to the escalator, and she started yelling at me, Gary, Gary. Don't worry about that gas either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I ain't putting no gas in that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, it's gonna come back on empty. Trust and believe it's gonna come back on empty. If I gotta push that motherfucker myself. <laughs> <laughs> 